can you tell me about drokal drokal is one of those projects which i thought of about 4 years ago that was the time when uh, the <coughs> very much uh, in the news particularly in punjab and kashmir and like my other earlier films <coughs> which have essentially been inspired by my response to the reality around me uh, this script also emerged as a response to my uh, you know my, my response to the situation the terror situation in this country i wrote this script and uh, kept it aside because i thought that it will be not easy to find uh, uh, a backer but it was only when i received a letter from british film institute asking uh, to write my diary on 10th of june 1993 as a as a celebration of you know centenary of world cinema i became aware that this world cinema was completing its century and uh, i decided that on that day i'm not going to sit and do nothing i will start a new film you know it was when i received a letter from british film institute that i became aware that the world cinema was completing a century and uh, the british film institute had asked me like many others to write the diary of what they were doing on 10th of june 1993 and i said on this day if we are to celebrate the centenary of world cinema i am not sitting and doing nothing so i decided to start a film which the script of which i had written 4 years ago uh, which was drow kal which was inspired by my uh, response and concern with the terrorist situation in the country which during 1992 91 which was very much you know hot at that time so i started the film without any money just collected a few friends and my friends manmohan shetty and pradeep kapoor came forward helped me and i rolled the film on 10th of june 1993 and therefore it is also dedicated to the centenary of world cinema what is drokal about for you <clears throat> drokal is also you know as i said earlier most of my work has been most of my scripts have been inspired or are a result of my response to the reality around me so is drokal which is a, it's it's my response to the terrorist situation but i also became aware of one fact once i started a bit of research on the terrorism that it is a very complex and a very difficult subject and it's not easy to you know put everything into one script so i decided to concentrate not on the phenomenon of terrorism as such or about its development and all that but i decided to see what it can do to a human being so drohkal essentially is a story of a predicament about a person in this case a police officer engaged in uh, anti terrorist uh, cell and therefore he is responsible for tackling terrorism on day to day basis down in the street and the kind of pressures it feels the kind of uh, uh, dangers it feels and the kind of moral and ethical choices it faces uh, is the essential spirit of the uh, of the film the film seems to be structured almost like a thriller i mean was that a very conscious decision or was it because uh, that that's the way the story was no uh, the film utilizes uh, the elements uh, of the thriller genre in a very major way but the thriller genre not in uh, in um, uh, in a way that it's used in a film like die hard or something like that but it is more uh, a very introspective kind of a thriller um, more in the uh, genre of say uh, graham green or joseph conrad you know and uh, the first part of the film has a lot of action because there's a lot of plot and setting the second part of the film becomes very intense and very internalized because that's where the action gets and it gets into the inside of the character and uh, uh, that's how the film is structured so it utilizes the elements of the form of the thriller but not exactly the way an action thriller is designed but you know there is also a a very a, a lot of violence which seems to be almost like uh, in all your major work you've been accused almost of of violence would you react to that see when you deal with a subject like terrorism the violence is very much part of it 
the violence is very much the part of the philosophy of terrorism itself the, whether you tackle it on the streets or whether you tackle it uh, uh, you know anywhere else that terrorism is about violence this is an alternative being projected to the democratic uh, alternative so the film also discusses this aspect of the situation okay, terrorism and democratic uh, alternative or the two uh, you know points that we have to consider today when we are considering the problems of this country you have taken some major actors who worked with you before in major roles of the film what was the reason for that well you see you feel really very uh, safe and you really very much in control when you work with actors whom you know very well you know their strengths you know their weaknesses you know their dynamism and that helps uh, you know shape the roles in a, in, a, in a very very precise and uh, elaborate manner like om nasir smita in this case amrish puri uh, they are fantastic actors and i have worked them before in fact in this film it was like you know getting the whole team back and it was a great feeling and i have also introduced in this case uh three very uh, new actors in major roles one of them is milind gunaji the other one is vinit kumar and of course uh, uh, ashish vidyarthi who plays the main antagonist uh, bhadra the terrorist in this uh, film absolutely brilliant performances you you also seem to have a film in which there is a very macho quality to it i mean your female roles seem to be more ornamental uh, it was there in ard satya and one feels that it's there also in in a in a film like uh, roka i know i know um, you know people say that my female characters are not very uh, strong but i uh, would like you to see this film to see the difference i mean the female characters in this film are of the kind which i don't think you would have seen in any film so far in this country it's a very tall claim to make but i can assure you they are very contemporary and very uh, very strong and contribute immensely not only to the film but within the film to the life of the protagonist himself if you were to judge drohkal today and you were to remake it after having made it completed it would you change something or would you sort of feel that there are some uh, dramatic thing in the script that you would like to change well not not really not in the script though i would like to have you know little more resources at my command to mount the film the way it should be mounted i mean right now it's been mounted at a very uh, with very meager resources nfdc came forward and uh, my friends manmohan shetty and pradeep pur as i said they came forward but still the, uh, the resources were very meager and i must say it became possible also because many of the actors like uh, om puri worked for a very very modest amount nasir just didn't even ask how much he was getting so did ila arun you know so did many other actors who worked they came out because they felt they wanted to be part of this film this is the feeling i got one last question what do you enjoy more being a cameraman and lighting the whole scene choreographing it or being a director well you see now the situation is that i don't know where the cameraman in me ends and the director begins or the vice versa it has become one integrated process i got to light up i got to set the camera i got to you know rehearse the actors talk to actors set the uh, scene it's all become a one process so for me <laughs> there is hardly any uh, kind of demarcation but um, uh, if you were given a choice today uh, to either direct a film or to photograph a film and it's a, it's a film with all the potentials of a what a cameraman's delight one would say hmm. which would you choose i find that uh, uh, question very very difficult i would like to do the both <laughs> <laughs> thank you